Hey guys, I'm not gone, and I'm not not going to make videos. It's not like I've given up on the channel or anything. I'm just, as you know from my previous videos, I'm just struggling to motivate myself to do anything except the bare minimum, and that includes housekeeping and work and whatever. But at least I'm doing my work, and I'm doing a great job of that. But anyway, I, I was trying to think of ways that I could get some decent content out to you guys. Maybe not microtech related, but just stuff that might be useful and uh, there is some stuff that I do on a regular basis that might be interesting I mean, I mean like this is my this is my workstation right I mean like I live a very unconventional life so I mean like <laughs> anyway I'll get to the point so I noticed that one of you guys was struggling with uh, a downed cell phone and so um, I decided to um, do this video to show you guys what you can actually do with it down cell phone. Um, so, this is my keyboard. This is my keyboard that I use for my... Can I zoom out? Am I zoomed out? I need a 50 mil. Anyway, this is my regular keyboard for my computer. It's a fold-up. It's no, not sponsored. It's a ProtoArc. And um, the nice thing about it is it is Bluetooth and it is foldable. And because of this foldable keyboard, it really helps me with... If my cats jump up on my desk, I can just close one side and then they can't do anything with it anymore, right? USB-C rechargeable, but I'm getting to the point, trust me. So that lets me take care of all this. And then this mouse here is also Bluetooth and it has uh, three controls on it, three uh, devices it can sync to. So device one is my main workstation, which is these three monitors and that one right there. That one's basically for watching movies and shit. I'm watching the amazing digital circus because it's awesome and I'm bored. And that one up there I'll watch video content on as well while I'm doing programming or work for people when I'm not in a Zoom session. This one here is actually very important, believe it or not. Um, this is where I'm getting at. So this is an Android uh, system. So when I switch my mouse to option two and my keyboard to option two, I can now use this. Now this is a touch screen, by the way. This is an actual touch screen and it does work with this phone. Um, but the problem is, I've noticed, is that after you sync a mouse to it, the external touchscreen doesn't want to work anymore. It might be a limitation to HID, but I noticed that after I connected my Logitech to it, it would not work any longer uh, as a touchscreen. Uh, if you're wondering about the screen, I got it on Amazon for about 120 Canadian. It's a 17-inch uh, 1080p HDMI touchscreen with USB-C. So now, let me get to uh, what I use this additional screen for. I'm going to... Or, sorry... Wait, no, let me reframe that. Okay, so how am I doing this, you might be wondering. Well, you see this? This little guy right here, let's turn this. This is my Galaxy S8 that I broke a while ago. Uh, so I put some shipping tape on it to keep the screen, I drove over it, I, I, to keep the screen intact, but the whole thing works. So I bought this neat little USB-C OTG type adapter that gives me power in, USB-C in, HDMI out, up to 4K and a uh, USB 3.0A connector on it right there. So now what I've done with this is these two connectors here go to the screen. It's driving the screen, powering it, and I'm also getting my uh, USB interface for the touch screen. And then this is literally the power in. So instead of wasting this computer basically, which is a processing device, um, you know, instead what I do is I just kind of shove it out of the way. And so then my main keyboard, which is usually in front of me, uh, can be used for this now by shifting it over to two, and then I can use my mouse. So now I'll show you what I actually use it for. Um, so hopefully it stays in focus. Uh, so I can go to Windy, which I pay for, by the way. I think it's like $4 a month Canadian. Very worth it. Now, this interface that I'm using right now is called Dex by Samsung. Samsung Dex lets you use Android. It's a really nice Android interface, by the way. Um, it lets you actually run your Android device as a windowed operating system. So it gives me a windowed GUI instead of the monolithic type system that the cell phone typically is, okay? Sorry about that, I'm not on a tripod. So um, what I can do here is I can have up my weather maps. Now, you know, I'm a network engineer and consultant. Why do I have weather maps up? Uh, well, the reason why I've got the weather maps up is because I have clients all over the United States. I have clients in South America. I have clients in the UK. I've got clients in Africa. All right. Now, the idea here is that I can keep an eye on everybody and at a glance see what the weather systems are going to be. And then I can focus on where they are so I can give my guys a heads up before something bad happens. 
Uh, let me just get rid of these temperature things. There's a switch for it somewhere. Uh, da -da -da -da, where is temperatures? Oh my goodness, where is temperature? I just want to turn that off. I just don't, don't want it displaying. To, I just want, eh. I just want, eh. I just want precip eh, eh, eh. precipitation. Where's eh? Okay. Anyway, now I'll back to the point. So let me just zoom in a little bit so there's less dots everywhere. Um, so what I can now do is I'm actually watching the lake effect snow today because there's lake effect snow coming in over top of us, right? Um, so you can see all that developing off of, um, oh, what is that lake over here? Scugog, Lake Michigan, whatever. Um, so, yeah, I'm actually watching the weather uh, generate these snow squalls that are coming through. Now, I can even use any Android apps on this thing. And I can actually resize the window however I see fit as well, which is a really cool thing about Samsung DeX. And I'm pretty sure that every Android flavor has their own variant of this. But um, watch this. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple of things which I typically use on a regular basis. So I can sh uh, throw up my video cameras as an example, right? And how about home? There we go. So I, I can, here's my living room. So I can like throw up cameras and I can keep it up. Look, there's me. Hi. Um, so anyway, I can like throw up different Android applications here. And um, yeah, I can window them so I can like have all sorts of stuff running at the same time. And the Galaxy S8 that I'm using is actually quite a capable phone. It's got plenty of CPU to it. It's actually a decent little system. So I can start throwing up Android windows in here. I can have Facebook Messenger, I can have WhatsApp, I can have anything I want all framed up inside of the 17 inch screen. And if I went with the 4K, apparently my cell phone can do a 4K as well, which gives me even more real estate. But if you look at the actual, let me see if I can zoom in enough. Look at the pixel density on this. I mean, this is a really decent screen. It's from Prechen. Prechen, Prechen. And I mean, like, it just looks really good. So I mean, like, I have more than enough real estate, especially since I can resize my stuff the way that I have. I mean, look at that. That's just, that's great. I mean, I can, so I mean, there's just a little tidbit for you, okay? There's something which I've been doing um, with an old cell phone. And instead of, I've tried Android boxes, I've tried um, Raspberry Pis with uh, uh, Android distros on them. It's just, I can't find a decent Android based um, system to make my giant tablet here basically in the corner. That also gives me um, multi, multi-lithic? <laughs> Allows me to run multiple Android apps in the same window at the same time. So, yep, there's a little tidbit for you. Remember, what I did was I simply used this uh, OTG type adapter. It plugs into the USB-C of my Samsung phone, gives me power in to power this entire mess here. HDMI out to drive the screen, uh, USB-C, uh, sorry, USB-A 3.0 to power the screen and give me my touch interface on it. And it's all being run from this broken little cell phone. And on that note, if you destroy your cell phone accidentally, you can use one of these adapters to give you keyboard and mouse. In fact, let me just, let me pull up, um, let me see. look, it's, it's very, very similar to the GUIs that you guys are used to using. So, like, look at this. Um, where's a notepad? That, 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 uh, I, oh yeah, I can just type notes. So let me type on my keyboard. Look at that. I'm using it like a computer. That's good enough. I just wanted to show you guys that I'm actually typing using this Bluetooth keyboard. So there you go. Uh, one, how to gain access to your cell phone if you've broken it accidentally and it needs to get into your files and get into the interface and stuff like that. All your programs are still here. And you can also switch it back to the actual interface that you're used to on your phone if you'd like. Uh, which, you know, because if you can't find your way around here to get to your authenticators or any other programs to transfer your files out, then you can go back to the original screen by disabling DeX. Um, otherwise, these old phones aren't useless after all. Use your old phone as a... Um, a giant Android uh, tablet so you can r run your Android apps on it and a, a multi-window type system using DeX or whatever the LG or Google um, one piece whatever uh, systems offer right so there you go just figured I'd show you that and um, yeah sorry again I'm not going anywhere it's just I've been 
sleeping a lot and just don't have any drive to make any content or anything, I do apologize. Leave me in the comments below if there's specific content that you're looking for that might be, you know, useful to you guys. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll do a video with you and that'll help give me the energy to actually, like, do a video. Anyway, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Catch you later.